Hi guys, welcome to another shave and scent of the day. Uh, except that I'm an idiot. I already shaved and scented today. And instead of making a video, I actually just took a picture. So, sorry about that. Um, I will do this shave or this soap. I will do it again. Um, but this is what I did. That is weird. This is Amore. By grooming department really really nice soap slickness um, uh, post shave slickness and post shave residual slickness sorry extremely extremely good scent notes are raspberry plum apple tobacco musk vanilla and woods um, and I definitely pick all of that up. I, I would not call it a tobacco forward scent. Um, it's definitely in the background, just kind of darkening it a little bit, if you will. Um, very nice, um, soft. It takes no effort to get in there. Um, really, really slick. Super, super nice stuff. Um, I had a great shave, except for a couple of mishaps. I had a couple of um, bumps on there, and I was using a uh, Moolah R41 and a feather blade, and it will take off bumps. It doesn't care if you have bumps. It will make you BBS, and I'm absolutely BBS right now. There's not a stitch of hair anywhere. Super, super nice. Um... Like I said, I used the Mula R41 and a feather blade. Um, and the um, the scent of the day was um, Herod by Parfum de Marly, which is tobacco, vanilla, cinnamon, pepper, musk, cedar, other notes. Um, but my commonalities were tobacco, musk, vanilla, and woods. And the two work together awesome. Um, so I was very, very happy with it. Very good shave. Um, like I say, a few little spots right there that I got. Uh, but otherwise, really good shave. Um, the brush was my Amber Aerolite by PAA, which did a fantastic job as always. Um, and my aftershave was um, Holy Cow um, King of Bourbon. And... That mixed along with all this just makes it perfect. The um, King of Bourbon is woody, um, nice vanilla, kind of boozy. Um, worked out extremely nice with all of this. So, sorry I did not get to show it to you. Um, really, really nice soap and label. I guess I could read you the ingredients while I'm here since I already shaved and, you know, will waste a little more of your time. Um, and this is obviously the, the Mallard soap. This is a redux, um, a redo of the original Mallard, which I love. Um, water, stearic acid, duck fat, kukui, nut oil, um, goat milk, castor oil, potassium hydroxide, kupuaku butter, kokum butter, glycerin, jojoba oil, myristic acid, shea butter, sodium hydroxide, fragrance, coconut milk, um, tamanu oil, laurel, laurel eight, um, carnauba wax, beeswax, allantoin, sodium laurel, laurel, lactylate, uh, bentane, sodium lactate, silk, amino acids, oat amino acids, sesame chicken, oh no, sesame oil, macadamia oil, caprylic glycol, glycol, sodium gluconate, ethyl hexyl glycerin, my favorite, I love ethyl hexyl glycerin, it's so good, um, tetrasodium glutamate, tastes like MSG, but it's just not quite the same, um, tocopherols, silk, silk peptides, and it is really, really good. 
I will do this again for you the next time. I promise instead of just taking a photo, I will actually do a video. But thank you guys for being with me. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'll actually shave for you next time. Peace.